Welcome to TIA Now, the online video network for the Telecommunications Industry Association. We are here at the launch of the Advanced Wireless Research Initiative announced by the White House and involved and led by the National Science Foundation. I'm Lamor Schaffman, Director of Content Development, and with me is Selena Lowe. You are President and CEO of Ruckus Wireless. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for the opportunity. So to give us a little bit of an understanding, can you tell us about what Ruckus Wireless and what do you focus on? Uh, we are a pioneer in carrier class Wi-Fi networking and uh, we sell to both enterprises and service providers. And the reason uh, I've been invited to speak at this forum is uh, primarily because of the US Ignite initiative um, spearheaded by the NSF. And US Ignite is about connecting smart communities uh, in the US. Um, Ruckus happens to be uh, also a pioneer in smart city networking. Uh, we have deployments, you know, in San Jose, in New York City, in Hamburg, Paris, Singapore, uh, and even you know in India, Gandhinagar, and uh, in uh, South Africa with Tishwani. So we have some experience in that, and and that really uh, uh, we are excited about what the uh, government is uh, funding and the initiative to uh, drive innovation in the area of smart cities and smart communities. That's fantastic. So when you're looking at smart cities and you're looking at some of your enterprise as well as industry partners in that, um, what are some of the greatest challenges that are faced by your customers today? Well, the challenges is to uh, have uh, is for cities to have a uh, to develop a dependable and affordable and high performance uh, wireless infrastructure. And so there, is fi there are financial challenges as well as technical challenges. The financial challenges is clearly, uh, you know, how to bankroll the whole thing. And so we are seeing a lot of public-private uh, partnership uh, going on, as well as uh, different uh, uh, innovative ideas on the business model. Uh, the technical challenges have to do with uh, wireless technology. For it to be affordable, you know, Wi-Fi, for example, is, is probably the most affordable public uh, network capability, uh, technology that money can buy. Um, but Wi-Fi is, you know, high performance and, uh, and, and, and dependable in a clean environment. And yet in a lot of urban communities, you have, uh, you know, a lot of noise uh, from other networks, from uh, devices, from people density. And so to make that work is uh, something that uh, is challenging to our customers and is also the reason that uh, Ruckus has a leadership position in the space. That's wonderful. And so when you're looking at the powers that are going to be developed, these four cities that are going to have these platforms for advanced research, what do you anticipate, if, if Recurse is a part of this, what do you anticipate is the kind of research that you would like to be a part of and that you would want to see come out of it? Yeah. So. Today, uh, you know, clearly we have uh, already proven that it can be done with Wi-Fi. Um, however, there is a limited spectrum uh, in 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And so we're really excited uh, by the FCC's uh, push on shared spectrum with, uh, with 3.5 gigahertz. And that's an area of uh, research and development that we're very involved in with, uh, together with partnerships uh, 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 such as uh, Qualcomm, Intel, uh, Google, uh, Federated Wireless, and so on. You just mentioned the FCC. It had a very exciting ruling yesterday when it announced this release of additional spectrum. Today we have this White House announcement. When you're looking at the future and what this initiative could do, what do you think is going to be that future and how will Ruckus take advantage of all this exciting news that's taking place? Well, the, all the uh, spectrum that the FCC uh, announced uh, support uh, for, I think is really exciting. It's going to drive the U.S. leadership in this industry. Um, so we are very excited, particularly we're excited about the um, unlicensed spectrum, the 7 gigahertz of unlicensed spectrum that uh, the FCC has, uh, has uh, announced. Um, unlicensed spectrum it spurs innovation because now it 
it attracts a lot of participants. And so uh, in the area, in that area, um, I think uh, I think Ruckus will definitely be very involved. Um, like we already are very involved in three and a half gigahertz, which is uh, you know uh, pushed by the FCC for uh, citizens uh, for CBRS citizens uh, broadband radio service, and. Um, and, and, and we believe that the challenge uh, going forward is, you know, device uh, support. Uh, clearly, you know, we're talking about a lot of spectrum and, and a lot of different bands um, for devices to include, to, to be able to include all these uh, bands in a, hand, in a, in a uh, device that has cost and uh, size challenge. Uh, that, that is something that uh, I think, uh, you know, researchers should uh, definitely focus on. Um, I also think that from an infrastructure perspective, another challenge is that, um, you know, we are going to have to fundamentally migrate to a different kind of IP architecture to support uh, so many devices and such a low latency and high bandwidth type of requirements. And you know, the, the single vendor proprietary hardware focused type of networks, which frankly it is where all uh, is everywhere today, um, really need to change to a more SDN uh, and virtualized uh, type of architecture to a new IP architecture. You just outlined a great vision for the technologies and how they will advance them in the future. When you're looking at this initiative, what kind of success metrics are you looking to come out of this? Uh, we are looking at Clearly, coming from a commercial background, um, I think that uh, the measure of success uh, is definitely tied to market acceptance. And you know, right now we're talking about a lot of uh, exciting technology. The FCC is setting the stage, but you know, what time frame uh, this will become a reality is still currently, uh, you know, to be uh, uh, to be uh, debated over. Um, in the meantime, though, people are continuing to get uh, a lot more devices, a lot more apps, a lot more pressure on their network. And so for Ruckus, the, the measure of success is how we can take people from the networks of today um, to a new mobile edge, a new IP edge, a new uh, uh, data center uh, architecture. Thank you so much, Celine. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. For more videos, please visit us at tianow.org. So long.